Well, I was uh, born, uh, you know, to a teenage mother and father. And I'll say this, you know, they, they had their, their issues. I mean, and they were, they were, uh, they were kind of like hippies, uh, you know, and they, you know, pot smoking and drinking was, was pretty prevalent in our home when I was younger. Uh, and so, you know, that led me to be at, you know, 12, 13 years old. I mean, I started experimenting with drugs and marijuana and drinking, mm-hmm. uh, and, you know, growing up in, in South Carolina, it's, it's, it's strange as this may sound, even though we had that, you know, those, you know, the drugs and alcohol part, there was, you would, you would say you were a Christian. <laughs> right. Because right. everybody right. in South Carolina yes. is a, a Christian, especially, sure. you know, 40 years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, it, so it's cultural Christianity in the deep South. Yeah. You know, and so. I would have, I, I was taken to church by my grandma when I was, when I was a kid. Uh, and we went on, you know, she would take us on Easter and, and, and Christmas. I call it CEO Christians, you know, that was uh, Christian Christmas and Easter only, but you know, that little bit of experience did plant some seeds, um, you know, in my heart. Yes. And, and so, you know, at 12, 13 years old, Ken, I got involved with drugs that led to by the time I was 14, 15 years old, I started getting uh, involved with some heavy drugs, some hard drugs. Mm-hmm. Um, ended up quitting school. Now I was, uh, I had, I had some anger issues. You know, I just, I wasn't a very good, well-behaved kid, and so, you know, that just kind of kept going in my life. To in my late teens, I got addicted to uh, crack cocaine which took me on a whirlwind ride, uh, you know, into my early twenties and, you know, and, and in my early twenties, I, uh, you know, got involved with, uh, you know, some different, uh, groups of people and some, I don't want to say gangs cause it wasn't really a, like a gang affiliation type thing, but just some, some really, uh, you know, unsavory groups. I'm going to put it that way. And me and another guy uh, started, you know, robbing people, essentially. Uh, uh, And at 21, I went, I ended up going to prison uh, for uh, armed robbery. And that was really, I'd say, the first big wake up call that I, that I got. 